Good evening, everyone, and uh, good evening to Cheng Ran, who is connecting from Hanzhou in China. I would like, first of all, to thank you, Cheng, for being with us today and for uh, having accepted to be part of this uh, online public program that we have launched with the MUDAM in the month of October. And today we're actually concluding our uh, cycle of interviews. Today is our eighth interview. I am uh, Emanuela Mazzonis and I have assisted Francesco Bonami in uh, creating the Me Family project and um, online platform and public program. So before we will start our um, interview, I would like to give to our uh, public a small introduction about you, Cheng, and your work. So Cheng Ran is one of the most promising Chinese artists of his generation. His work has been exhibited already in many different museums and he had different important solo shows. Uh, one, just to name a few, I would say one at the Mac in Belfast, the new museum in New York, the uh, Key 11 Art Foundation in Hong Kong, the uh, Yuan space in uh, Beijing as well. Uh, he also has been included in different important group exhibitions uh, at the Kinoder Kunst in Munich, at the um, ICA in Singapore. Uh, he was also part of the 14th Istanbul Biennial, um, an important show inside China, an interior du Jean uh, at the Palais de Tokyo in Paris, and the Rock Band Art Museum in Shanghai. So, uh, Chang, you investigate the cultural landscape of West and East society. In your works, in your videos and films, you are comparing the literacy, poetic, cinematographic, and visual worlds. You propose a new narrative that brings together and compares myth and modernity, past and present, personal and collective events. Since your last epic nine hour long video work entitled In Curse of the Miraculous from 2016, you become more and more interested in the idea of otherness, if I can use this word, the relationship between time and urban environment and the meaning of language. Inspired by a diverse range of sources from the internet and advertising to political affairs and obscure mythical events, you are capable of developing a poetic language that includes both the internal world and the external one. So going back to the work uh, in Curse of the Miraculous, you are narrating three real life uh, mysterious disappearance. The first one is a British mountaineer, George Mallory, who went missing while he was ascending the Mount Everest in the beginning of the uh, 20th century, 1924. The second one is the artist Jan Ader, who vanished during his journey uh, across the Atlantic in uh, 1975, uh, that was part of a performance that, of course, uh, never went completed because of his loss at the sea. And the performance was uh, entitled In Search of the Miraculous. And the third person is a Chinese uh, fishing troller, Lu Rong Yu, which in 2011 uh, returned to land after eight months with only one third of its original crew still alive. Now, I would like to ask you, Cheng, if you can tell us more about this project and uh, your source of inspiration and the aim you wanted to gain with, the, with this uh, work. Hi, thank you for uh, introduction and uh, thank you for inviting me for this uh, great project and the interviews. And uh, uh, for this work in course of the remakers, <clears throat> actually this is uh, my first future film, but uh, it's also still not a real film because it's nine hours long. So, um, I was thinking about cinema film, also film in museums, but it's not uh, a main question for, for, for me. How to show is 
in real time, people could watching or sleeping. Even we can service food or sleeping bag for watching people who watching this film. So I think that's an important idea for for star. Um, this film is based on three true stories through a missing people part. So I think that's uh, that's the main idea to making this movie through the different true story and imagine that become to to true. And I'm also really interested in, in the system and the progress of uh, how to making films in the film uh, production the way. So to making this uh, nine hours movie is not uh, easy. It totally took, right, I think three, three years. And uh, from the beginning, I already start plan how to shoot this movie and how to open the system of film production to make things happening. So before the movies come in, I did uh, many different research for the stories. Also, I make the uh, script and uh, uh, storyboard. So before the movies come in, I prepared over 10 expansions and the performance to open the system to show the progress of the movie. That uh, includes a storyboard film, which I only use a very simple drawing with a voiceover to talk about uh, how do I think about the story, how I want, how can I to, uh, to show the different parts and how about the details of each different part. So that's become already a, a experience to show my mind. And uh, this star uh, from 2013, when I was in Amsterdam in Rex Academy, that's why I am interested in the story of Bas Young Other. So, um, and the final part is end, ending at uh, 2015, show in Istanbul Binali and the uh, KLAB Foundation Hong Kong. But it's not, uh, still not uh, the end. After the, the, the time in 2019, I also worked with uh, a really good musician called uh, uh, Dad G. He's a really good DJ and musicians. We're working together to to show different kind of result of this movie with a live, uh, live performance in uh, Sydney Opera House. <clears throat> so I think um, for the title of the name is already tell everything in cause of the remakers. So I would like to say the, the progress is already the third. So I've already inside the miraculous. If the miraculous, we need to searching for something. So I try to use this film to search in the results. Also, the time of making the movie is also part of the uh, uh, miraculous, yeah. <clears throat> 
Yeah, I think uh, also this 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 movie is quite interesting. We built a, a fiction part inside a film studio. We built four hundred square meters black sea with a black water to rebuild the the view of uh, the missing moment of Bastian Adder. So nobody knows what happens. So we need to to imagine what is going on during the, that time. So and after the shooting, that's actually the the last part of the shooting. After the shooting, we opened the uh, gate of the studio and we built a really famous uh, post rock music band One One to to play live music with uh, the Black Sea and the boat of uh, Bastian Adder. So this movie is about uh, cars. This is also about uh, miracle loves. Yeah. Thank you for this uh, precise explanation. I think that we can say that all your work is about searching for something, as you just said. And um, I would like actually now to talk about another work, Chunku from 2017, 2019. And this work consists of a hundred documentary videos, uh, ranging from a few seconds to less than an hour, that record the fast moving present and imagining the future ghost of modernization. You are mixing past, present, and future interconnecting society and individuals. The modern city and the wildness, the modernity and nature, emotion and reality, reality and fantasy. For this work, you have been inspired by the uh, Italian film director Michelangelo Antonioni, who in 1972 has been invited by the Chinese government to film a three hours and 40 minute documentary called Chunku China. The film recorded much realistic footage of China at that time. So after almost 50 years, we can say how much of China has remained the same on your opinion and how much has changed? What was your idea behind this uh, documentary work? Uh, I think the world is changing so fast as our imagine. So also with very high speed in this uh, different times. Mm -hmm. We have so many things happening in last year also with continue. So that's totally changed my mind. Also, I think for everybody, they, they have something they need to be thinking about. Um, I think China is also changing. The changing is even developing minutes by the minutes, second by seconds. So it's so so quickly. Um, the work Zhongguo with uh, uh, the Italian director Antonioni did in 1975, this work. I think that's the first time uh, through a director's will to to tell Chinese people what is uh, the country with a really personal uh, idea and uh, opinion. So that's make so much uh, mm, uh, voice from different parts, from chi chi China part, from Italian people, also from normal Chinese people part. I think that's become really the first uh, really um, public uh, talking about China, not the, you know, mm -hmm. not the, from the government, not from the, uh, it's from the real people who visit China and uh, to recording the, the time of the, the country. Uh, about uh, the work the Zhongguo, which I did, uh, I still working on it. It's already took five years. 
it starts uh, in 2017. And uh, in the beginning, I want to finish uh, in 2019, but uh, it's for now, it's still ongoing. So we'll be finished at the end of this year. So it has a new title called the CK2K2X. So that's uh, <clears throat> the materials uh, is more and more coming. I'm still make it. Um, I think this work for me is like a, a mirror. The reflections shows in between the reality and the history and the memories also connect with the uh, great work Chongguo. So more important is in personal perspective than the great part. When we have the, you know, a smartphone, all the photos are marked in mm -hmm. all the spaces. Mm -hmm. So that's how how's going this time. So um, in my way to working with this, this projects, it's, it's planned to make over 100 piece of videos, clips to talking about the country. Let's include um, many, many different things about uh, landscape, great wall, also about really personal parts. So those videos, that's all uh, make by myself. And uh, it's not uh, great or perfect pictures, very personal. So that's, that's the most important idea for this big topic and uh, for this work. I hope to tell people you should to see through a country with a different opinion, with different personal views. I am the only one, I just is one of that over like maybe 10 million, 100 million people. They have seen them to every day took photos about different different cities, different parts. So I hope to show China very small, smallly, very personally, the real. And uh, for this, this work, I also really want to thank Francisco Bonami to make this work real. From the beginning, 2017, he really talked about this work. So, Every year we still keep talking about this. <laughs> and and uh, we also have so many <clears throat> ideas is changing because the world, the country is changing faster than ours. Mm -hmm. So that's for me is still a problem. So I always to try to rethink in this video to try to keep the balance between the artwork and myself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, thank you, uh, Chang. I think that what is really important is to underline uh, your way of uh, showing this work as a mirror, as you said, as a reflection of reality. All of your works are in a different way, a reflection of reality of a specific reality, of course, you are working on in that moment. And uh, the fact that, as you said, you want to give uh, the different opinion of China, it, probably also a different way of looking uh, to China from also our uh, point of view as uh, people from Western society, I believe. And uh, I think um, we can make also a link um, on these different topics uh, with the work you are presenting on our platform. 
diary of a madman, which is always a reflection of reality, a different kind of reality. Um, you are, uh, this work is from 2017, 2018, and it's a trilogy dedicated to three great cities, uh, New York, Jerusalem, and Hong Kong, very different. Three different words, three different cultures, uh, histories, political uh, scenario, and um, is uh, actually a result of um, uh, three three residences you have made in the in the three cities, and here you are speaking about multi ethnic, social, political, religious, and cultural situation that you have seen and experienced on the ground. The title of the work is taken uh, from a Madman's Diary, a first modern fictional work in the history of Chinese literature written in 1918 by Luke Soon. And uh, just as the author narrates this uh, short story in the first person in the form of a diary, turning it into a metaphor for the dramas of contemporary societies, you are recounting the emotions, the problems, the impressions of an autobiographical experience that each of us can identify with. Um, each character with whom you uh, come into contact has the same perspective and the same point of view as you, following the instructions given before each take. You focus your investigation on, on the role of the language as a form of universal communication, asking your characters who were coming from different nationalities to speak uh, uh, Chinese, or even trying yourself to repeat words in different languages as French, Cantonese, Hebrew. And in this way, you are able to underline the distance that interposes itself between known territories and unknown words, the effort made by the individuals to try to integrate into different situations and the parallels established between time, place and social environment. So what was your main idea behind this project and how important has been for you the Chinese literature poem as your source of inspiration? Yeah, it's a, um, the, 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 the main uh, idea is from the Lucian's novel. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, the uh, new, uh, the beginning of new China. So uh, I I really like the, the the novel, also the title. It talk about a uh, uh, a mad man. He's a uh, crazy and uh, talking about everything, but nobody uh, believe him. Mm -hmm. So. So that's interesting. Also, um, I think that's uh, uh, he puts the personal uh, uh, opinion into a madman. So to talk about China, talk about situation, talk about uh, uh, culture and everything. So um, uh, in my work, it's a, uh, it's like um, I I I like the cultural from from old generations from China. So like poetry, also novels, um, like always it inspires me um, a lot. For that reason of Madman New York, actually that's the beginning of the, the project. Um, during the three months residency in New York, uh, that's actually is my first time to be New York. So I think that's really, uh, good star, but it's also very difficult. You know, a city is not easy to use only few words or few minutes to, mm -hmm. to tell people what is New York. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a good way is to talk about myself, talk about some imagination and fantasy or, um, misunderstanding so mm, that's the main idea so new york for me is more like it's not a city i think it's like a, a, a patience or a couple 
our cave, even a self-portrait. So for New York three months recently, I actually made uh, 15 videos with uh, uh, different kind of uh, people, okay. friends. But uh, I also ask, ask them to speak uh, Chinese or speak different language. So the language for me is also very, uh, I'm really interested in, in, in this part. Not uh, only because we need to talk with each other, we, not, we need to understand with each other. That's, that's the only way like a bridge to connect with the different cultures and the different country and religions. But also in another way, if the languages is only a sound, so we have another way to understand and uh, listen. So as you, 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 you see, for myself, I always try to speak in my work, to mm -hmm. speak French, Swiss, uh, German, mm -hmm. and Cantonese, many, many, but actually I don't know all of that language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At only a moment I repair, so like a momentary memory. So after the, after the speaking, I totally forgot all the uh, meaning. Mm -hmm. So I think that's uh, built a, a different uh, uh, dimension to, to connecting with uh, different uh, people. So it's like a dis dis to discover a different area. It's like a Discover, uh, for example, in New York, I, I've been the famous place like Times Square, like uh, all the famous uh, part. But finally, I, I shoot in a pageants in Times Square. I, I make the camera go up, mm -hmm. like no people. The pageants take over all the LEDs, all the crazy words. And uh, I also speak uh, famous poetry from Allen Ginsberg. I can't uh, speak very well, but if all the sound is from the pigeon, from, from different things, so that's already broke the the, the root mm -hmm. broke the system. It doesn't matter if it's good or not. So I use this this way to working for the death of Mad Men, the projects. For Jerusalem, for Hong Kong, is also the uh, same way. For example, in Jerusalem, I was sick, so I feel not uh, uh, really good. My mind is not clear. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know the city is also very intense and very heavy, fighting always like forever. So I I cannot easy to tell people what is uh, the city, what is Jerusalem. But I can tell people like uh, my body have some problems. So during the time in Jerusalem, I can feel the like the blood connect with the traffic. My mind is connect some, some uh, cultural. So I try to make the questions not to people. And mm -hmm. the question is back to myself. So I hope this work can bring some new understanding and the listening to people and to rethinking about uh, communication, about country, different cultures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, thank you, Chang, again for the explanation. I think it was very 
interesting to listen to you and your point of view and your uh, way of looking these three cities and actually you made the fantastic portraits of the cities uh, very different from what we usually um, know about these three giant um, cities. I think that uh, um, what is important now um, is that I would like to invite all the people who are watching us to watch, to take the time, because it's a long uh, film, to take the time to watch uh, the film again in our platform. And uh, I invite everyone to try to identify um, their self with your figure. Uh, through the eyes, I would say, of an outsider, um, as you exactly did when you arrived in the three cities, and as you said, especially New York, probably. Um, as a first-time visitors in New York um, and in US, you actually have been able to capture what is typically excluded from the iconic images of the city and you actually have been able to give us a very less obvious picture of the popular New York. You gave us an, an I would say, an uncelebrated and more obscure face of the city. You guided us towards the unexplored, the unknown and the elsewhere, giving us a different dimension to connect with people and, as you just said, rethink about communication, about cultures, about people, um, and trying to uh, give a different point, give a different point of view of what is usually is popular to our eyes. So I thank you, Chang, for your time and for this explanation. And I really hope to talk to you very soon. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, see you soon. See you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.